Hello there, friends. I hope today was a fantastic day at school. Today, we're gonna to read another story, and it's The Basket Bed, The Story of Moses, and it comes from Exodus 2, 1 through 10. This is a fine baby boy, said the mother. She snuggled him close. She was hiding him from the mean king who wanted to kill all the boy babies. This baby was small, but he grew bigger every day. He began to make loud baby noises, and the mother could not keep him quiet. She knew the mean king would find him, so she got a special basket with a cover on the top. Then she put tar on the bottom and up the side so water could not get in. This basket would be a boat. It would be a bed for her baby. She wrapped the baby snug and warm, and she gently put him in the basket bed. Then the mother and the baby's big sister walked to the wide river. They waded through the tall water plants, and they set the basket boat down on top of the water. The water swished this way, and the water swashed that way, and it rocked the baby in his basket bed. The mother walked home, but the sister stayed by the river. She hid behind the tall water plants, and she watched the little basket boat float at the side of the river. Soon, she heard some people talking. It was the princess and her servant girls. They were coming very close to the place where the basket bed was. The princess looked at the water, and she pointed. She was looking at the basket. A servant girl waded over to the basket. She pulled it back with her and took it to the princess. The princess opened it. It's a baby, said the princess. The baby began to cry. The princess felt sorry for him. Oh, said the princess, I love this baby. I will keep him and he'll be my baby. I will name him Moses. The baby's sister was brave. She ran right up to the princess. I could get somebody to take care of your baby for you just until he grows big enough to come and live with you. Yes, said the princess, that's a good idea. So the baby's sister ran home. She came back with her own mother, the baby's mother, and the princess let her take the baby home. So the mother got her own baby back. He's a fine baby, said the mother. He's a wonderful baby. She snuggled him close. She didn't have to hide him anymore. And when he grew big enough, she took him to live in the palace with the princess. Good night, friends.